Hello students, in this video we will be explaining how to compute the amount of payments when we have an ordinary simple annuities. We will notice that we have two situations. One situation will be when the problem is related to a future value. So sometimes in the problem appears a future value, an amount of money at the end of the annuity. And there will be another type of problems in which the amount of money that you know is the amount at the beginning. For example, in the case of a loan, maybe you know the amount of the loan, what is the present value, and you need to compute the payment. So I'm going to make an example of each of them. So the first example will be the case in which we have a problem related to a future value. The problem is this. What payment made at the end of every six months for 15 years will accumulate to 18,000 at 5% compounded semi-annually. So in this problem, we have an annuity, and we know that this annuity has periodic payment, and this periodic payment happens for 15 years, and these payments are every six months. So it's a semi-annual payment. Money compounds semi-annually. But in this problem, we know the amount at the end, because they say will accumulate to 18,000. So we know that here at the end there are 18,000. So this will be a problem related to a future value and we need to compute payments. There will be another type of problems that are related to a present value and you need to compute payments. So let's solve this problem first. So we know the future value, 18,000. I'm using this symbol for future value. The nominal rate of interest is 5%. I take note of this and also Take note of that it compounds two times per year. So M equal two. Because the payments are also two times per year. So this is an ordinary simple annuity. I'm going to use the formula of ordinary simple annuity. I need to know how much is N, obviously. And N equal T times the number of payments. So it will be T times M in this case. So it will be 15 times 2 equal 30. So n equal 30. And because this is an annuity related to a future value, I'm going to be using this formula of future value. Future value equal the payments times this factor divided by i. The question is what is the payment? So what we need to do is solve this equation for payment. So if we cross multiply, multiply by i and divide by this factor, 1 plus i to the power n minus 1, we are going to have a formula to compute the payment. So let's do it. Let's cross multiply. It will be i times sn divided by this factor. So r will be i times sn divided by 1 plus i to the power n minus 1. This bracket is not necessary now. Eh? We move this to the bottom, but because this line of over is enough to understand that everything is over 1 plus i to the power n minus 1. However, I'm going to lift the bracket because leaving this bracket we understand how to compute it using the calculator because the calculator actually needs this bracket. So if we are going to compute this in a scientific calculator, at the bottom of the denominator I will be in need of using the two brackets. Let's do it. Let's take a calculator for computing everything. Obviously, we need to make a substitution. This SN, it will be 18,000. This I will be 5% divided by 2. You can type 0 0.025. Yeah? Or you can type 5% divided by 2 is the same. And N equals 30. Make a substitution and you found this. This will be 0 0.05 divided by 2 times 18,000 divided by this and then get your calculator bring your calculator out and i have it here and i'm going to write everything exactly as they are 0 0.05 so i type 0 0.05 uh, divided by uh, divided by 2 and again everything that i type in here will appear here beside the calculator and also appears, uh, by the way, in your calculator, in the screen of the calculator. Just for you to follow easy to see what keys I am pressing. Time, 18,001A000. Uh, the 
divided by, this is the division that appears here, this line of over, so divided by open brackets, so in a calculator there's only one type of bracket, all the brackets that you need to use will be this type of bracket. When we are writing, sometimes we use a square bracket, but in a calculator there is only one type of bracket. So I open bracket and I open another bracket. There are two brackets here, consecutive bracket. Then there is a number one, one plus 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and then divided by two. Close the internal bracket and raise it to the power 30. So raise, this is the key in my calculator for raising to the power, raising to the power 30, so it's zero. After you have this, it's minus one, minus one, and close the other bracket, and then press equal. So the calculator will give you the answer, 409 Round it to two decimals because this number is more than four, the seven, the third decimal. So I'm going to add one unit to this nine. It will be zero, one it will be one zero ten. Yeah? So I will need to put zero here and add one here. But again here is nine, so it will be one plus nine times zero. There will be a zero here and add one here. But again, this is a nine, so it will be one plus nine ten. So I'm going to type zero here and add one to the next one. So it will be 410. So the answer rounded to two decimal will be $410. So I can answer that the size of the semi-annual payments that will accumulate to 18,000 in 15 years is $410. This is one type of problems. So you know the future value, use the formula of future value. If you know the present value in the problem, so use the formula of present value. But in each case, solve for R, the formula, and then make a substitution from this formula. I recommend you to use the fractions in the rate of interest, in the periodic rate of interest, especially when you have a fraction here that gives you an infinite number of decimals then it will be mandatory to do this to get the right answer. However, in this case, when the answer is just a few decimals, it will be okay to make the division first. For example, instead of typing 0 0.05 divided by two, you can type 0 0.025. You could save time later. Okay, let's solve a problem now related to a present value. What payment is required at the end of each month for five years to repay a loan of 8,000 at 8.4% compounded monthly? So in this case, these payments are not for saving, are not for accumulating. This payment will be for paying a loan. So we have a situation where we have again a series of payments. This series of payment will be for five years. But now what we know is that there is an 8,000, it was a loan. So the loan, obviously, you have the loan at the beginning. And you need to repay this loan. So in this case, in this problem, we know the present value. And if we know the present value, then we are going to use the formula of present value, but compute R. So again, type everything that you know. You know the present value, 8,000. You know that the nominal rate of interest is 8.4% compounded monthly. So R equal 8.4% and M equal 12, because it's compounded 12 times per year. You need to know N in the formula. So multiply the time times the number of payment per year. But the, by the way, the number of payment per year will be the same, in this case, of the number of, com of, of conversion period of the interest. So notice that it's compounded monthly and the payments are every month. So to know the number of payments, it's okay to multiply by M. It will be N equals five times 12 equals 60. So we have a value of N. And check what is the formula of the present value. I have the formula here, by the way, A N equal R multiplied by this factor, one minus one plus I to the power negative N and divided by i. 
because the question is what payment you are going to solve for payment. Just cross multiply and the factor one minus one plus i to the power negative n will be dividing at the other side. So r will be equal to i times a n divided by this factor. And again, substitute all of the numbers. i equal 0 0.084 divided by 12. A n equal a thousand and n equal 60. Okay, do that. Make a substitution. Go and use your calculator and type everything. 0 0.0084 uh, divided by 1, 2, divided by 12, multiply by a thousand, a zero, 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 okay. And then uh, divided by, divided, open bracket, there is a bracket there, so I open the bracket, one minus, open another bracket, so minus, open another bracket, one plus, one plus, point zero eighty four, point zero eighty four, divided by twelve, one, two. Close the bracket and raise it to the power negative 60. To the power, and then this is the key for negative, eh? the key that changed the sign. So negative 60. When you do that, by default, the calculator put this in bracket. Now that you have this, close the other bracket and press equal signs. The calculator gives you the answer, 163. 0.75 if you round it to two decimal. 163.75. So you can answer that the size of the monthly payment required to pay this 8,000 in five years is 163.75 if the interest is 8.4% compounded monthly. And with that, I finish my explanation of this problem and finish my explanation of how to compute the periodic payment of an ordinary simple annuity. Remember, it will be important to know if what you know is the present value or what you know is the future value, so you will know which formula to use at the beginning. Whatever formula is, you need to solve for R first, make a substitution, and use your calculator. Okay. Thank you very much for being here and I hope you have found this useful.